Hey guys, what is up? It's the guest again. Going most time we left off. Last time we left off. I'm, I'm pretty sure I got. Uh, oh no! Uh, last time we left off, we start. Uh, we stopped Crazy Lady from something. She still. She still ended up catching hell. Uh, we were in here. We start checking this out. Uh, this time, uh, I'm thinking we should head maybe to Blackthorn City. See if there's a gym there or not, because you know it was kind of indefinite when uh, whenever we talked to that one dude. But I'm also tempted to see what the hell's at the bottom of Brass Tower. Um, what are our funds looking like? All right, so we battled like three people in here. They gave us like 12k each. So we'll focus on that later. Uh, I feel because I feel like it's like a legendary related thing. So instead, we're gonna head to Blackthorn City, if we can at least. So, let's... Uh, where is it? I, I little I, I just woke up. <laughs> not too long ago. Um, it's really early, I'm not used to waking up this early. Um, it's just that I left my PlayStation 4 on overnight to download uh, Destiny. And it said it would take five or so hours, and, you know, I wanted to make sure that when it was done downloading, I got it to installing the game and its updates immediately. So right now, it's transferring content, whatever the fuck that means. And hopefully soon, I can, uh, finally play some Destiny. Um... But, uh, it's real stupid, um... I was really pumped to ha get my PS4, and apparently, uh, even though I'm still under the uh, the thing where I wanted to have cross buy, I, I was I bought the game before like I think January of 2015 or whatever it was, and if you did that, you were supposed to get Destiny cross buy for PlayStation 4. Apparently, it didn't give me my cross buy. It also didn't give me any of my DLC, so I had to gain. I have to game share with Lord, Ch or yeah, Lord Chuckleton anyway. So I mean, it's just a minor setback. If anything, I, it really doesn't do much for me right now because since I'm game sharing on off of them anyway, it doesn't really matter. It just means that whenever I get the money I just have to go out and buy my own copy just in case something ever happens when he wants to game share with somebody else or something like that. Any, any chance I have a message for you? Uh, please come to the new island as soon as possible. You may take the ferry from Alvine to get there, the Pokemon League. Please travel to new island as soon as possible. Alright, so it looks like we're doing some plot this episode. Uh, sorry if you hear the air conditioner in the background. It's really muggy and hot in the mornings, even though it's supposed to be middle of fall, it's, or middle of fall, it's supposed to be the end of fall, it's still like 90 or so degrees out. Um, I, so they took me all vine and took a ferry, I didn't know there was a fall. Um, we currently have a ship in the Cantor Ring Call. I'm sorry, but we cancelled all fairies. The weather is just too awful. The water is too choppy, so perhaps diving underwater would be easier. I don't have dive. Um, do you know about the Ranker? Supposedly, four super strong trainers in Rancor. They're the highest level trainers in these parts. The fuck's a Rancor? The best ships the SSOC one makes home off of these. So she told me to come here and take the fairies, but I can't. So what do I do? She told me to take the ferry to get there, but I can't take the ferry. Um, let's see. Or was I not supposed to go to Blackthorn City yet? Let's 
sorry for this amazing, this amazing gameplay, <laughs> but I'm just kind of confused. Oh, uh, let's see. So, what route were we on? And were we even supposed to be there yet? There's the one right after Mahogany Town. Uh, so that would be Route 44. City Evergreen. Uh, once you're headed east of the town, follow the pass until Dragon Elf stop you. You'll give you a letter. You may take the ferry from Olivine to get there. Alright, let's head over to Olivine. Go into the building in the south. The man will tell you they canceled all ferries through the storm. Well, I guess that means we're going and help or uh, head south anyway, going to the dock and dive. What? Do I have dive? I don't have dive. What the fuck? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna be right back. Alright, so I'm just a fucking moron. Um, I forgot we even had dive. Um, and I forgot we even needed it to, uh... Actually... Go to the Elite Four <laughs> in the Tunab League. So, excuse my, uh, idiosity. Um, you know the drill, we're switching out to, uh, an HM slave, but does not mean he's part of the team, so I will not be changing his icon or whatever on the sidebar. So let's just go this way. I want to get a Crawdon just so I can actually do this look like... I, I just, I think it's weird that they use a specific sprite. Also, my mouse is on the screen. That's no good. Uh, okay. Ooh, lantern. Hi, lantern. I don't care. I really like the underwater music. Kind of sucks that. So far, I think the only Pokemon games where you use dive like this are in like the Ruby and Sapphire and Ruby and Sapphire remakes. And then in black and white, and black and white too, they didn't really use dive, it was more just, oh, use dive, go down to this temple, and you have a hundred steps to move around. That was it. The sign is Spudge, Ketla. Blank City, cool. You guys think I'm gonna be able to find Porygons here? Excellent. Excellent. I'm, try I'm just looking around before I move ahead. So, just in case, uh, yeah, just in case, I'm gonna switch you to the back of the bus. And then, a new team. I'm just gonna organize my team right now. have our jack in front since he is basically our starter. I feel like this is going to involve legendary Pokemon. Uh, and while we're here we'll get back Chomper. Let's see. I keep forgetting you just can't press L and R to uh, switch the boxes. Well, since they allowed us to switch our party around, I'm guessing that means we're here, we're gonna start an event. You arrived. The message you received was not from the League, but from me. I know you harmed me, you hush. I don't care if, why, but if you did, I've called you here. Show me what you've done. Defeat me. Defend yourself, and maybe... I'm what? I didn't... What? Would that have ended differently if I had Mew in my party? 
Pokemon Mewtwo sent out Typhlosion. Wait. He doesn't... He... He is! He's completely Mewtwo freaking strikes back this shit! What the fuck? This is actually pretty cool, but it's also fucking weird! Alright, so let's hit our Fraligator with this Hydro Pump. Shit, man. Our Hydro Pump, what the fuck? Leaf Blade? Wow, we got fucked up. Alright, let's throw Spectre out. And Spectre can use that, uh, Thunderbolt. Because, as we know, his special attack is the bomb. Um, Salamence, um... Our only choice is to use our own Salamence against him, or... Have Pyro... or no, not Pyrojack, have Spectre try to hit him with Lightning Bolt again. But, as we know, Ord's attack is out of this world, so I'm... I'm gonna go with, uh... Using Dragon on Dragon. So will you Dragon Breath? Okay, so they can't be exact clones because my Salamence does not have uh, Scary Face, Gallade. Yeah, we're gonna switch to our own Gallade because we know our own Gallade can uh, defeat some other Gallades pretty easily. I could have kept Salamence in, but I want to give everyone kind of a shot at this. So, we're going to use Aerial Ace. Yeah, alright, so I'm guessing this team is a more is just like what ours would be if we just kind of went up with the moveset that just learned naturally. So, I'm guessing his doesn't have Aerial Ace, which gives us kind of a bonus. Um, Gengar. I'm pretty sure Ghost is super effective against Ghost in this version. So... Let's hit him with that Hypnosis. And while he's asleep, I wanna... I wanna use a Revive on Amph our Yellow Diamond. Because, you know, he, he could still be in this. Hit him with a Shadow Ball. So far, all of our all of our Pokemon have faced their counterparts other than Chomper. So I kind of want to keep that pattern up. So I'm going to use a Moon Milk on Ampharos. And he's going to be using Cotton Spore. We have Focus Punch. Um, I don't know how well this will do. It's not going to do much, so let's set up another Moon Mill. And we'll use... We'll use our own Cotton Spore. We'll hit up with this a couple of times. That didn't really do much. What about Thunder Punch? I know it's not really an intense battle, but I can imagine if this is like animated or some shit, that it could look really cool. Um, Thunder Punch again. This is really getting us nowhere. If it's gonna take forever, if we just don't, you know, you know. All right. Useless clones. I'll simply have to battle you myself. Okay, I wasn't expecting a... a legendary fight? Thank God for False Swipe. 
Um, we're gonna throw a luxury ball at this for shits and giggles. Um, um, Alright, so if you don't know, when I play Pokemon, I only throw uh, luxury balls at legendaries, like on my personal playthroughs. So, hopefully... Sad that the fucking luxury ball got or yeah, got more shakes than an ultra ball. Right now he's just setting up defensively. Um, I don't know if he has any offensive moves, like I'm pretty sure there was one move that he had in Gen 1 where con where just switched the power and defense of him and the Pokemon he was facing. Like, you know, for shits and giggles, let's throw some Pokeballs at him. Um, he's really getting his attack up, so I'm guessing his- Yeah, he basically only has setup moves, and on top of that, his fourth move is Future Sight, so I don't see him doing mo uh, a lot of damage right here. But we're just gonna keep checking our Pokeballs at him, because eventually it's gonna have to work, right? Um, now I kind of feel stupid for depositing that Master Ball, but at the same time... At the, at the same time, not really, because I want to use it on a legendary I want to use, not one that they're forcing me to face. Like, if anything, I would use it on maybe, I don't know, every legendary is in this, basically. Except for, you know, Gen 6 legendaries. Even though there's Gen 6 typings, which is really weird. There's going to be a certain point where he's not going to be able to raise his defense, right? I mean, I wish I had Thunder Wave right about now. And he's not using any physical moves, so I can't... just throw th Amphros out and hope that he paralyzes himself. I'm an idiot. I am a real idiot. You know why? You know why? You've probably been yelling at me this whole time. I'm sorry for that. I hate how this is wasting all of her Pokeballs. Well, at least we got Spectre hitting those Hypnosis. This is Hypnosi. Oh, two shakes at a time. One. We can keep doing this all day, Mewtwo. You know, we really can't. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I, I want to capture him, but at the same time, it's like... Wow, this really blow- YOU FUCKING ASS! You've three left. Two left. One. Man. Can I, like, capture him again later?
Alright, so I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go redo my save state, and I'll meet you guys back here in the battle. So, see you in a few seconds. Alright, let's try this again. So, as you can see, I went to the store and I bought a lot more Pokeballs. Um, if I knew we were facing a Legendary, I would have... I would have stocked up in the first place, but let's go with the Fury Cutter tactic again. From the start, alright? And then we're going to switch out to Gengar. I should have uh... I honestly should have bought a, um... Gardevoir, so we had more, uh... Hi Hypnosis. No, the thing is, should I nickname him or not? Because I'm thinking no, because we haven't nicknamed any of the other legendaries we got. Let's see, can we? I don't know if this is. Does raising your defenses, like, also make it harder to catch a Pokemon? Like, does it raise or lower their critic or their catch rate? Like, that's something I always felt like was a thing. Because, like, the higher stat the Pokemon is, the more it seems like they're hard to catch. Like, I know that's just in general, like, they don't want you catching really high stat Pokemon early on. But I, I just feel like if a Pokemon raises its stats, it just becomes harder. Like, we saw earlier, Mewtwo used some defense moves, and now, like, we're not even close to a shake anymore. Just chuck him at him. Maybe heal after that. Free! Free right there! Are you shitting me? The only reason I don't like Mewtwo is because of this shit. Well, at least it's not as bad as like in the original Red, Blue, and Yellow, where you can miss Pokeballs and you can even actually miss your Master Ball. Like, it fucking sucks. I especially hated it when you were on par level-wise with other Pokemon. Like, you could be doing great damage. You could have, like, Articuno at its final health. And if you threw a freaking Ultra Ball at it, it's like, oh no, you missed. Oh no, you missed. Sorry, you missed. Sorry, you missed again. Oh, you gotta... It's not even gonna shake once and the next time you're gonna miss. We're gonna go with this. Uh, we're going with Pokemon that have really high health. Because it's gonna take a while for you two to whittle us down then. Well, maybe if I lower your speed. I don't I, I know I'm just grasping at straws here. But I really need anything I can get. So let's use a hyper potion. I'm pretty sure Ord has higher defenses, so er. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Ord has a higher defense. Um, let's start chucking Great Balls. Oh, come on. I... I <clears throat> can you imagine if I wasn't fast-forwarding this? At this rate, I'm probably gonna have to grab my Master Ball and throw it at him, not because I want to, but because he's just being a pain in the ass. At this rate, he's just gonna end up struggling to death. Oh my god, I'm really sorry for this.
Oh, I hate this so much. This is a good reason why I don't like Mewtwo as a Pokemon. He's just... I, I know he's a legendary Pokemon and all, but he's just... His catch rate just seems a little bit too high, for, if you ask me. Like... You think after... Uh, uh, you think after all these Pokeballs I've thrown, he would at least get into one, right? Uh, I don't uh, start wasting Ultra Balls. It was, well, I mean, we're wasting them anyway because we're just chucking them at him nonstop. Was that a three shake Pokeball? Oh. Oh, he's gonna die of recoil. Nope. You know what? You know what? Here. Um, pretty sure. Pretty sure we have someone else who could help us here. Don't you have... Damn, I thought he had that... the... like... I'm hoping for like sleep powder or something... I, I want to paralyze it... So, let's throw you on the squad... So we can have double the hypnosis, and... I'll see you at the Mewtwo battle for the third time. This is a 30 minute episode and I really hate this. Actually, you know what? No. We're stopping the episode here because before it gets way too long. And next time, we are going to attempt to catch Mewtwo again. And... Yeah. So, if you liked the video, please leave a like. Slap that like button. Alright, slap, slap the like button down below. Just hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos just like this in the future. And comment what you want to see on this channel in the future, what you want to see in the series. You know, the whole... You know, the whole game Boodle. So... I hope you all have a great day. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, bye bye.